Hey friends, it's Neil here from Post to Post. Welcome back. And if this is your first video on the channel, welcome to the channel. For anyone who saw the first video where we ranked the home uniforms, welcome back. I'm very excited for this one. It's gonna be quicker than the last one because most of my general opinions came out in that video. We're gonna run through these pretty quickly. I've got them all off here on my screen to the right, all the files. I'm gonna be looking off this way to the left. I'll put the uniform off uh, to my left on the screen so you can see it as we go through. Obviously, I've ranked these uh, one to 32. We're gonna go through them 32 to one, my least favorite to favorite. There is no right or wrong, right? I mean, it would be boring if we all like the same thing and everyone should have a different ranking. So I hope this doesn't upset you too much, but I do know that it's the internet and I've been doing this for five years. So there is absolutely someone going to be upset. Let's start off with number 32. Like I said, my least favorite, that is going to be the Colorado Avalanche, a team that was ranked very high in the last video. I don't want to spoil it if you've seen, if you've not seen it, but uh, Colorado Avalanche being last for the first time in any of my rankings probably ever, I've done hundreds of rankings within the NHL. Jerseys, logos, secondary logos, uh, ice services, scoreboards, all the, everything basically. I've ranked everything except for urinals and bathrooms, okay? I think this is the first time the Colorado's ever came last, but I think I have a pretty good reason here. So Colorado actually changed their uniform. When Adidas started, they used black gloves, black pants. Now, they don't use that anymore. Two years ago or two seasons ago or last season, whatever it is, uh, they switched it from being black to be their blue. In theory, that's not a bad decision. In practice, it doesn't work. It completely separates the uniform for me on the, from the, basically the, uh, you know, the hips down. That looks like a completely different uniform than the hips up. Like the top section is great by itself. The bottom section is great by itself. But together, you've got all the blue and the waist down, you've got all the burgundy and waist up. There's a lack of relationship there between uh, between the whole uniform. I really dislike it. And if this had been their original uniform uh, for Reebok or Adidas, I would have been like, yeah, okay, you know, I'm used to it. It's the fact that it got worse, okay? They had a better version of this they took a step back in my opinion, so that's why it's ranked last. Number 31, so I'm gonna mirror my exact comments in the last video uh, for Washington. You know, it's a fine uniform, it, it, it definitely is. It's just time for a change. It's been, I think, uh, 12 years at least now that we've had this uh, uniform from Washington. It's just time for a change, and that's, uh, that's why it's ranked as low as it is. Number 30, the Nashville Predators. I do like their away jersey or their away uniform, I think better than their home, but I still don't really like it that much. Uh, I it just, it's just not for me. I don't know how other way to put it. It's just not for me. And I, I hope they change it, but I hope they keep the numbers. The numbers are, are excellent. I love the numbers. Number 29, the Minnesota Wild, a team that is uh, very polarizing when it comes to uniform because their uniform, maybe Jersey specifically, is wonderful. Top, uh, you know, top three, I don't want to spoil anything, but just an amazing uh, jersey and uniform. However, the away version, this version that we're looking at, just really doesn't do much for me. And I don't really know why. It is a different design because in the home jersey, you've got that line that goes behind the logo, but it's not like drastically different. It's not completely like foreign. It's just, it's just different. And I just don't like it. And I don't really know why. Again, I just don't know why. It's just not for me. Right, again, no right or wrong, she's not for me. Number 28, the Dallas Stars. Definitely need a, a change up here, I think, uh, whether it's a complete rebranding of the team or, or what. Um, it's just, I don't know, again, this one just doesn't really work, work for me. That's, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Number 27, the Anaheim Ducks. Kind of like the Washington one. Like, individually, it's a fine uniform, but we've seen it for so long now. We're going back, which probably predates 2010, where they've started to use this. And it's just, I've seen this over and over and over again and they have such incredible assets in their history, it's time to bring them back, or it's time to come up with something new. It's it's time to end this era of this uniform. Number 26, the Winnipeg Jets. Again, kind of like with Anaheim, it's time to end. Uh, we were going on year 12 or 13, 11? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's, you know, it's, again, a fine uniform individually, just time to change. Number 25, the Toronto Maple Leafs. I, I said this in the last video, and some people completely disagreed in the comment section. I actually like when people disagree with me. It makes it interesting. But my comments in the last video was that I like the 90s version of the Toronto Maple Leafs uniforms because that, you know, that's when I grew up. I'm a 90s kid. A lot of people disagree. That's totally fine. Uh, a lot of people love what's going on here. My ranking is specifically because I like the 90s version better than this one. Number 24. This one is a very interesting one. The timing is incredibly interesting. So... Right now, you see some red pants in this photo, okay? And these rankings are from last season, not currently or next season, okay? Last season. So when I, when I released the first uh, ranking video of the home uniforms, 
In between that and this video, Columbus announced on Twitter that they're changing the color of their pants on their away uniforms. They are changing from red to blue. It looks so much better. And that was my entire comment here. Columbus is ranked in this video because of the pants. Like they're ranked low because of the pants. They feel very out of place here. And, uh, and, and they, they made the decision. I don't even have to, like, I don't have to, I don't have to ask them. They just did it. So thanks, Columbus. I appreciate that. Next season's uniform rankings, you'll see Columbus sky skyrocket up this list, I think. Number 23, the Philadelphia Flyers. I don't really have a lot of comments on this one. Uh, you know, all the ones that I kind of talked about so far, I had things that I disliked and yada, yada, yada. From here to like the next 10, basically, they're just all kind of average to me. I don't, I don't love them. I don't hate them. There's things I like, things, maybe things I dislike. I don't really know, but they're just kind of a middle pack. You know, if I rank these a month from now, they'd be a little bit different. So nothing to complain about here. Just a, overall, it's a, a fine uniform. Number 22, the Vancouver Canucks. I feel the exact same way. I like the home version a little bit more than the away version, but this is still just a fine uniform. Um, I, I like the, the blue and the green combination. Uh, that's very unique in the NHL. Number 21, the Carolina Hurricanes. I am a bit torn on this one, and I, I didn't like it when it first came out. I actually didn't like it at all when it first came out. And by this, I mean when they switched their away jersey to not have their primary logo, but to have the canes down the, the front. I didn't like the disjointedness of the away and the home. But the more that I saw this uniform, uh, you know, in, in action, uh, in, in games and whatnot, and then I got the jersey in my hands, it's like, okay, this jersey is actually really nice. So I've, I've come around to the jersey individually. I would love to see it maybe as a third or a fourth, or some kind of alternate but as a uniform, I'm going to I'm going to zonk it a little bit because I think that they should keep the trend of the home jersey. Use the primary logo. I don't think they should be different. So, the home jersey is kind of where it's at and I think they should change this and kind of take a step back, but I don't want them to get rid of this uniform or this jersey. Hope that makes sense. Number 20, the Boston Bruins. It's just one of those middle ground teams for me. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It is what it is. I don't think it should change. It's a fine uniform. Number 19, the Florida Panthers. So uh, a couple of comments that I made on multiple teams in the last video, I talked about the color of the pants not matching the same shade of the same color on the rest of the uniform. This is a really good example. And a lot of people in the comments, not a lot of people, we'll say some, some a handful of people said, it's, it's, it's not the team's fault. It's, you know, it's whoever manufactures the pants, whether it's CCM or Bauer or Nike or whatever, whoever makes the pants, it's their fault. They can't get the shade right. That, you're not wrong, but you're not right in the sense that, like, that's not an excuse, okay? There are so many teams that get it right that, that it looks like the color match is perfect. They, it's phenomenal. So if other teams can do it, every team can do it. So there's no excuse for discolorized pants as far as shade. This is a good example. Look at the lightness of the blue in the pants Look at the deepness of the blue in the bottom of the jersey and in the gloves, completely different shades of blue. And this can be avoided 100%. If you'll pay attention as we go through this, this can be avoided. And for that reason, the Florida Panthers are ranked uh, quite low. Not quite low, you know, mid-pack, I guess, but still. Uh, I love it. Just get the right shade of blue on the on the pants. Number 18, the, uh, the, the Tampa Bay Lightning. So I... I a little bit similar to Toronto, but they've got the lightning bolt coming down the pants, which is awesome. I love that. So I had to kick them up ahead of Toronto. Number 17, the Edmonton Oilers. So this is another uniform that's actually changing moving into next season. I don't think the away version is changing that much. I believe it's maybe just a shade change or maybe some striping uh, spacing or something. But uh, generally, it's going to look pretty close to this. And this is a definitely a, a, a fine uniform. I have I have no real negative things to say about the Edmonton Oilers away uniform. I love the numbers, how they have the little perforated dots in there. I think that's phenomenal. Uh, my issue is with their home jersey. But this one, totally average. Uh, I mean, not totally average. That's coming up. That, that seems negative. I don't mean, I didn't mean that in a negative way. Uh, very average. Lots to like about this. Not much to dislike. Put it in the middle of the pack. Number 16, the San Jose Sharks. I'm going to um, echo some of my comments from the last video for, for the Sharks. I would like to see more orange in their uniform, whether it's the home, whether it's the away. Let's kick it up with some more orange. I'd like to see that, whether it's in the neck, maybe a thicker orange stripe on the on the arms and the socks. I'm not exactly sure, but I would like to see more orange. But I do love the fact that it's one of the own, only home jerseys. I think, I think it's the only one. I can't remember if Seattle has colorization. Wait, oh, look. Okay, no, it doesn't. It's behind me. Okay, San Jose is the only home jersey that has white that goes all the way down with no colorization on the bottom of the sleeves or the bottom of the jerseys. I love that. That's a great thing about this uniform, but needs more orange. Number 15. Hey, this is Seattle Kraken. I guess I just could have skipped ahead one, couldn't I? Uh, great uniform, actually. Uh, overall, nothing really to complain about here uh, too much. I would kind of like, I like the jersey as it is 
the pants shade, like look at the blue. The blue matches perfectly here, just to comment back on a previous, uh, you know, a comment of the other uniform. But if we just swap the bottom of the jersey colors, if we make where the teal is, swap that with the dark blue. So we got the teal on top, the dark blue on the bottom, that blends it nicely with the pants. That's really the only change that I would make was a pretty insignificant change, but it is a change. So I decided to rank them where they are because of that. Number 14, the New Jersey Devils. I really like this jersey individually. Uh, I think it's an okay uniform overall. Nothing to complain about whatsoever, just uh, very average. Number 13, the LA Kings. I love the injection of that bit of uh, metal fleck uh, material in their uniforms. They didn't used to have that in the sense where it was uh, a texture like Vegas's. So they had it in the uniform. You could see the little sparkle and stuff, but it wasn't as prominent as it is now. And I think that um, that really that really stands out to me. They use that same texture in their alternate jersey uh, too, and I, I mean I'm I'm pretty sure they use that that texture. I don't have um, their uh, their away jersey in made in Canada or in general, but I th thought that they did. Someone told me that, so uh, if, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. I don't always think I'm right, so please correct me in the comment section. I would love to know that. But visually, that looks awesome. Number twelve, the New York Islanders. Again, kind of a, you know, this is a nice uniform. It's an average uniform, but it's a nice one. It's very cohesive. Uh, the orange is, it complements nicely with the blue. Uh, the shoulders are very clean. So overall, just a nice uniform. Number 11, the Ottawa Senators. So I don't love this as much as I love their home jersey, but this is still very nice for sure. The black in the arms complements nicely with the black in the pants. Obviously, the black in the socks and black in the skates as well. So the color uh, balance overall in this uniform, I think is excellent. If I was gonna change anything, it might be the red around the neck, but um, yeah, it's insignificant. Number 10, the St. Louis Blues. So I rank them very low in my home version because the, the shade of blue that they use is uh, is different. It looks completely different because of the amount of dark blue in the rest of the uniform. I believe the pant shade is the exact same as the home ones, but it's not as noticeable because there's not as much darker blue in the rest of the uniform. You get it in the bottom of the sleeves, a little bit in the bottom of the jersey, and that's, that's kind of it, right? So um, it doesn't bother me that much that it's not uh, the same colorization. Florida was a little bit more prominent for me personally, but um, it, it, it's not perfect, but it's still a very nice uniform. But they need to get the shade right. Number nine, the Pittsburgh Penguins. No denying that Pittsburgh has a wonderful home and away jerseys. Really nothing to complain about here at all. I love, uh, you know, that section of the jersey that holds the numbers. I say that all the time. The pants look good. Everything looks good. Number eight, the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, I do like this uniform quite a bit. It is one of my favorites. Long standing since Adidas came in. There's been changes for, with multiple teams and stuff, but this is one of the ones that since Adidas came in, since the Vegas Golden Knights existed, this has always probably been in my top 10. I just really liked it. I like the pattern and the gold. Um, it's very subtle. You know, you don't see it from a distance, but once you get up close, you're like, oh crap, there's actually something in there. I think that's cool to say about a uniform. Not all uniforms you can say that about or jerseys rather, uh, but everything is, is colorized nicely here. It's just a really, really great uniform. Number seven, the Detroit Red Wings. So I wasn't as crazy about the um, about the home Red Wings jersey, but I love the away jersey of the Red Wings. It's, it's phenomenal. This uniform is great. Um, I have nothing negative to say about it. It's classic, it's nostalgic. It pays respect to history. I'm wearing it not not non-intentionally here in this video, um, just great stuff. Number six, the um, Arizona Coyotes. I really like the white version or the away version of the Coyotes uniforms. I wasn't crazy about the home one, but the jersey is great. It matches perfectly with the pants. Look at the bottom of the jersey. It's black or dark at the very bottom, it comes down to the pants. It bleeds right down to the pants, so it's very cohesive. The relationship between the jersey and the pants is perfect, so they, they nailed this one. Number five, the Montreal Canadiens. And I think this ranking is, um, even though I'm a Canadians fan, the, I believe this ranking is objective. And it's also nostalgic for me too. So I think Montreal definitely has nice uniforms objectively, but as a 90s kid growing up, this is really the same uniform. Uh, the pants haven't changed. They think they've always worn blue pants. The jersey has not changed other than the neck. This is just, um, this is history to me. It, this is what it's supposed to be. It would be weird, I think, if it changed. I, I would like to see it change just for like, maybe an alternate uniform, like a white alternate uniform, just for fun. But I, I don't think it should change long-term. I actually really like this. And you guys know, if you're a long-time viewer, you know how hard I am and critical I am of my own favorite team, the Montreal Canadiens. I just think it's objectively nice, guys. Number four, the New York Rangers. I love their away jersey. It is so 
amazing. The, the lines at the top, uh, the front of the shoulders look so good. The way that they've got the drop shadow on the numbers looks amazing on the home version as well. But the pants are very intricate, very intricate and, and specific striping, unique striping in the NHL coming down. Uh, they're the only team that I think can pull off red pants and make it work. They do it in their home jersey or their home uniform. They do it in their away uniform, and I think it works um, for both. Not so much in Columbus, like we talked about. There's a lot of red in the middle by the pants, and there's not like there's a little bit of red. But with New York, you get red here, a big thick thick strip of red in the neck, in the front of the shoulders, in the gloves. There's just a lot more red, so it balances a little bit nicer. Number three, the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, the best decision that they could have made was go back to the royal blue. I love this uniform in and out, uh, or top to bottom, rather, in and out, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, top to bottom, uh, great colorization, great layout, great striping, great shoulders. Everything is great on this jersey, or in this uniform, rather. Number two, the Calgary Flames. Big fan of the home, home uniform, big fan of the away uniform. This is great. Um, I, I wouldn't change anything about it. I literally wouldn't change anything about it. I love the retro look. I love the colors, everything. It's top notch. And number one is, by process of elimination, did you figure it out? It's the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, I don't love their jerseys. Like, I'm not going to rank the Chicago Blackhawks jersey number one for the away. But as a uniform, overall, with the jersey and the pants and the socks, like, this is really nostalgic. I love the dark numbers on there, the black numbers. I think they look so good. And um, I think on, like, on TV, this is one of the uniforms that really stands out. So not only does it look good visually, it respects the past. It, it, um, it's, it's not modern and egregious and in your face and trying to be something that it's not. It's very classic. It's very simple. They don't really take a lot of risks with it, and they shouldn't. It's the Chicago Blackhawks. They're one of the original six teams. So I think just overall, this is a, this is a number one uniform for me. Um, you know, five years ago, I wouldn't have said that, but, uh, you know, I've really come to appreciate Chicago's branding. So they are my number one away jersey, or away uniform, rather, sorry. I talk about jerseys so much, I've said, probably said jersey a thousand times more instead of uniforms in this video. But I appreciate you sticking through me with this video. Uh, let me know what you think of my rankings. Hopefully, you think I'm wrong. Like, I actually hope that. I hope you run, your ranking is a little bit different. If you want to leave your ranking down below in the comment section and re list reasons as to why, I would love to hear it. I read all the comments. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new to the channel, I would love it if you can consider hitting the subscribe button because I talk all kinds of hockey on here pretty much on a daily basis. Jerseys, uniforms, logos, secondary logos, arenas, score clocks, all the good stuff here on this on this channel. We also do some trivia um, that is, you know, GeoGuessr, some geography trivia and stuff. All kinds of stuff happening on the channel. We'd love to have you on board. I hope you guys are having a really good day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Adios.